how's it been this development from year one to now start point guard how does that feel just mentally or does it have to change your approach to the way you go about things a little bit um no i mean i think each year i've progressed um both on the court and off the court um, and just maturing in my everyday life and in my basketball life and my career um and it, it's showing in my fourth year but for me, my mindset hasn't changed. Whatever this team needs me to be, whatever role I need to take on each night, because each night changes, um, I take on that role. And for me, the biggest thing is to be poised and be consistent um, on both ends of the floor for us. Uh, right. In the past couple of games, I know you guys have been kind of a rough, a rough stretch. Mm -hmm. um, my voice praised your defense. Yeah. Um, you've had the Los Angeles coach just talking about the reason they put a lane on you. We try to disrupt mm -hmm. y'all's offense. What does that mean, kind of hearing that type of stuff this year from your opponents? Um, and then, is it something you sense as well? Yeah, um, for sure. I think, in a sense, we go as I go. So the pace at which I play, um, if teams are able to disrupt that and slow us down and get us into our half-court offense, you know, that's more be beneficiary for them. Um, for us, though, we want to continue to push the pace, we want to continue to be efficient and get into our offenses quickly and efficiently. Um, but, you know, it is. Uh, for to have the best defensive player in our entire league to be able to guard me and know that she needs to disrupt me in order to dis disrupt us, I mean, that's a huge compliment to me. And then also sometimes, have you noticed when you've been out there, it seems, it seems you're, because you're kind of fast first by nature mm -hmm. and you guys really get going off, you know, off your passing, uh, do you feel like teams sometimes kind of just really playing you to shoot and you kind of, you feel, sometimes you got to kind of make that decision on, Sometimes do I kind of run this set all the way complete? Or yeah. Do I have to put pressure on the defense immediately to open things up a couple possessions from now? Yeah, it's definitely um, a give or take. So obviously players like Elena and Christy need their shots. You know, whether it's Elena getting about 16 to 18 or Christy getting about 10 to 12, we need our best players to shoot the ball. So um, it's a happy medium of, okay, when do I be aggressive? Because they're playing off of me, they're playing for me to pass. And when is it time to make that pass and get our shooters the ball? All right, now from the team concept, you guys have been really dangerous. Showing that you're capable of playing very good defense. Yeah. How do you guys get back to playing a consistent amount? You've seen last couple games up in Connecticut, you guys played it good defense for a half. Yeah. Went up by 30. Against uh, uh, LA, started slow, the Picked game changed up. when you guys really got into it defensively. So, what's that challenge uh, to get to make that consistent? To, that to bring it every night. Um, that's what we talked about yesterday when we came back from practice. Is, just bring in the consistent energy, bring in a consistent competitiveness. We need to be a defensive-minded team first because our defense will bring our offense. And that's the best type of offense is when we get stops and we're in transition. So really just being a defensive-minded team and doing the little things, the intangibles that are going to make us a championship team. We need to be able and willing to do those things.